Thank you for staying with us on The Pulse. Now time for the sport. I'm Gary L. Smith. We are still continuing with the drama involving the National Sports Authority and the Ghana Athletics Association. The Sports Authority, as you know, has described the GAA Selective Congress held over the weekend as illegal and unconstitutional and says it will not recognize the newly elected officers. Prior to the elective Congress last year, some of the members of the association petitioned court to address some anomalies in the GAA's constitution. The court, however, ruled the case in the GA's favor. In studio with me is Prince Wet Anani Asari, is with the Ghana Technical University Sports Association and a rep on the GAA and an aggrieved member of the GA as well. Thank you for your time. Yeah, thank you. Yes. So, you're a member of the GAA, but you're not happy. Why? Yeah, I'm, hap I'm not happy and I'm, I'm also, I mean, I'm deranged because of whatever is happening here. Yeah. yeah. So, essentially, can you explain to us, it was taken to court, it was struck out. Yeah. Surely, the court authority... Yeah. In fact, it was taken to court. It was, the ruling was, the case was dismissed. Fine. After that, in the court's uh, statement in the ruling, it was stated categorically and emphatically that all the nitty gritties that we have complained should be taken care of before elections. But then, the caption of going to Congress was in the mind of Bawa and Co. And at, at the end of the day, they disobeyed and went to Congress. And you know, NSA was looking at the ruling. And they said that these things has to be done before Congress. So hold on. Apparently, you have re sent a letter two days before the time to the uh, NSA for them to do it. As an administrator, you need time. We need to prepare, and then those who are in Tamale to, to host. But nothing like that happened. You just sent a letter, you dropped it, and then you went away to Tamale. When you went to Tamale, because the Sports Council has disassociated itself from this saga, the doors of the, the sports stadium was not opened. Sure. So they went to Tamale SA, uh, SHS yes, yes. to conduct the elections the so-called elections. And the outcome is illegal. I can see that the outcome is illegal. Because even the person who conducted the, the elections was not officially invited to, be on, on, uh, to, to run or moderate the elections. That makes it more, more serious. Yeah, sure. Because sports council, when they are going for any elections, they will inform electoral commission. Electoral commission will look at the regional rep, rep and then they will conduct elections. The Electoral Commission wasn't there. The Electoral Commission, from the videos we saw, we saw the Electoral Commission. The Electoral Commission was a personal per, per friend or somebody invited, was not official. They should show us the, the official letter that was sent to Electoral Commission Accra for Electoral Commission Tamale to, 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 to run the elections. So all these things are some of the illegalities that are coming in. NSA, per the, 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 uh, the, the law or the act, they are major, major stakeholder. Because in it, even we said, when you go to IAF rules, it said that every country should have a national federation. So if it's national federation, it means all inclusive thing, with the exception of the autonomy in how to organize your games, how to run your programs, and so on and so forth. These are the ones that has to be. So far as NSA has not released its blessing, I think it's, it, is, it is not good for this thing to happen. Right. So we know, we know a lot of what we are saying, but moving forward, how are you and those aggrieved members now going to proceed? What are you going to do? You are a member of the GA. Yes. Yes. So what are you going to do against your own organization? Um, it's, 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 you see, the, the, personally, I'm not a member. It's but the institution I represent. Yes, you are. That is a member. Which is the Which G is Ghana Gatusa, Ghana yes. Technical University Sports Association. And so the institution will have to be informed of what is happening. Then mandatorily, I will then come out standing for the institution to declare whatever we need okay. to do. And uh, you are going to do that? We're going to do that. Okay. We're going to do that because it's not only Gatusa that didn't go. Gusa did not go. Sessa. 
Security we represent services. Security services. Representing the, their representative now is fire service. Okay. None of them was there. Central region wasn't there. Bravo wasn't there. Upper West, the, the old one, Upper West wasn't there. So you can just imagine those people. It was not a full house. Just some sort of interested demigods, who the interested people who want to make themselves demigods, went there and then justified their own. And then in, in, in all of this discussion, the people who lose the most are the athletes themselves. Yes, I, I pity for the athletes. How can you describe for you at the university level, how does this affect your charges on the ground? Does it affect them one? And how does it affect them? It affects everybody, all and sundry. In the first place, at least most of the athletes are aggrieved about the, 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 the administration of Professor Dudu. So when he was off, they say, oh, we are breathing a better air. But now he's come back. So just imagine, like Ashanti and others, who wrote a letter to IAF telling them of the conducts. What would be their stand? I, I pity for athletics. Seriously, I pity for athletics. And I think what NAC has done is very, very good. I support them 100% because they have breached our own constitution and they've breached IAF constitution and they have breached the national constitution. That's the national law. They have breached it. And it's a serious thing. They have to answer certain questions. The minister has to call them and then answer questions. Sure. We can't sit down for athletics to be running like this. Athletics, it's, 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 I, 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 don't, I can't describe it, but it, we are heading towards disaster. It's a big deal. It's a big, yes, we are heading towards disaster. Can you imagine? Next, we are hosting uh, 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 African, African Games. Games. Yeah, African Games. And the next thing to happen is to let, uh, say Ghana is banned. They are saying it's we, but it's not we. It's not us. They started it. But as it stands now, the IAAF is okay with this administration. Oh, it's like the lies that has been sent there. The government will also take action. Okay. So the right now, we are just waiting for the government to send to, the other to, side To before. take action on this, on this issue. Okay. And then one thing that we also have to, please, yes, one sir. thing that we also have to know is that we don't necessarily jump to court. There should have been an ethics and integrity committee headed by a legal person sure. in our AGA. Yeah. But it's not there. So when you go to address your grievance, the best way as a member of the national, uh, Ghana national, what do you call it, the Republic of Ghana, is to you to have the, to yeah. go to the uh, court to test the law. Right. Many, many thanks for your time. And um, what we always say is that it's these people, the athletes who, who suffer the most, we hope that all actions will be expedited and taken for the athletes to have a brighter future. Now it's between Dodu, NSA, do do and then the government of Ghana. Yeah. So if the government of, of Ghana will step in and then do the need for, we are there. Sure. But we don't recognize the results. Sure. I have to emphasize that. Yeah, yeah. We, we've we seen the statements the to that effect yes. from several parties. Yes. Thank you very much, You're Mr. Welcome, Prince. Sir. Right. Welcome. So it continues. Um, we've been serializing this discussion. We now have, you know, certain people who are aggrieved parties and they are speaking up. What will Professor Francis Do do? and those who took part in the election do in reaction to this. I'm sure we will get answers as the days go. But we're also waiting for the sports ministry, what they have to say in all this. I'm Gary Al Smith, and that's the sport for now.